Okay guys, today I have a special treat for you. And I've held off on doing this particular cross stitch pattern site because it's a dangerous site for me. And when I mean dangerous, we all know what I'm talking about. Every time I come to this site, I always find something else that I want to get. And the reality is, I don't have the time <laughs> to do this. If you follow my channel, you know that I'm currently working on a massive piece that I call my lifetime project, which is Old World Map 2. And this is the site that I got it from, Golden Kite. Now, Golden Kite is actually a store, a European store, but they ship all over the world. So don't think that, uh, you know, anywhere you are, they can ship to you. So don't worry about that if you see something you like here. But uh, their website is goldenkite.com. And the first thing I want to show you is what these things look like when they're finished. They have a Pinterest board which is uh, basically just a collection of pictures of what their patterns look like when they're completed. And you can see how gorgeous and intricate that these patterns are. They are masterpieces, I kid you not. And every time I go through this list and I look at it, I'm like, ooh, I wanna do that one, ooh, I wanna do that one. But I will link this below as well. But let me go back to the website. Now I haven't looked at Golden Kite in quite a while again because I'm trying to stay away if I can but um, if you look at their website if you go to the website there is a lot of different things they actually have a place where you can create an account and sign in and it's not just for say ordering and shipping but it's also for they have it's for their forums that they have I'm gonna click on up here where it says media and galleries and they have well they have a Facebook community but they also have forums where you can discuss patterns discuss techniques ask to find something maybe you can't find somewhere uh, there is a lot on there people all over the world basically are on these forums and commenting and answering questions so I like let's start off with the weekly sales now I've had people before when I've talked about Old World Map 2 come back to me and say that these patterns are expensive. And I'm, I'm not going to say that they're not, but I will say that for the most part, when you were putting together works like this that take quite a while to get the colors just right, to put the patterns together, to make them come out this gorgeous, I think that that deserves more money. Considering how long you're going to be spending on these projects, I think that that deserves more money. So you can always find the sale page. So if there's something on that that you can find, um, I know that my mom would like this Last Supper. This looks exactly like this painting that my mom did way, way long time ago. And it's it even has that old faded look to it. So yeah, so look at where it's like, it's $79. And that seems like a lot for this pattern, basically. And you're right, it is. But I'm telling you, it's going to come out looking like exactly like this and you're going to be very very pleased now you can buy just the pattern you can buy the kit you can buy anything you need here i love this too where it shows you like if you're going to get uh whatever fabric size you want to or you know that you want to do this on it tells you roughly what your dimensions are going to be at the end i love that and that's one of the reasons why when I went to get old world map 2 that I was able to kind of pick out exactly what I wanted but oh man it's pretty awesome so let's go back to the home page here and oh my goodness I gotta I really gotta watch myself here <laughs> I really gotta watch um all right we're gonna click on the services tab up top here let me get rid of my videos down here oops I don't think I clicked on that. So we're going to go to the services page. And, oh, goodness. You can get some custom-made patterns. Uh, you can send them a picture, and they will actually put a pattern together for you with the same quality that they do with everything else. So if you have a picture of a loved one or a location or whatever that you would like to do, I think these guys probably do the best job of anyone I've seen of putting together patterns that look just like the picture. 
you can uh, request a specific stitch count you can request a specific color count and they will put that together for you I don't know how they do it I'm not sure what they're using to get to these masterpieces but they are beautiful so I'm going to go back to the home page you're, you're probably saying where are the patterns where are the patterns and I'm actually like yeah where are the patterns I know they're here look at that look at that ship right there oh my goodness gracious so patterns and kits click on there actually they were up here too so there are PDF files there are printed files um, I ordered the PDF file when I got old world map too let me pop on here Pat uh, websites being a little bit slow it could be my connection and uh, so this is the unique aspect of Golden Kite right here on the left side. So it, it literally will give you a challenge level. <laughs> and when I saw this, I'm like, well, of course I got to go to the highest challenge level. But depending upon what kind of a cross stitcher you are, you can choose which level you are. Now, a lot of this has to do with finished dimensions as well as whether or not these are blended colors, whether or not there are like higher count color higher color count than other projects but let's just start off with challenge level one and so basically these are just usually going to be more simplistic patterns that you can do where they're just there's just less less colors smaller pattern let's just click on this one of the underground I apologize for the slow internet here. So this stitch count is 150 by 243 and there's 55 solid colors and that is their challenge level one. That's just to show you like how intricate this gets. Let's go back here and go all the way up to challenge level number seven and this is where you're going to find like the Last Supper, the big version of the Last Supper. Oh my goodness, I haven't looked at this in a while. There's a lot of new patterns on here. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, I got to stop. So let's, okay, let's just go into the still life with fruits and flowers. What makes this a challenge level seven? Here we go. Well, it's because this stitch count is very high. Uh, it's 700 by 941. And the total number of colors used is 200. There are 96 solid colors used and 104 blended colors. So you will, it will slow you down when you use blended colors. And blended colors basically means that normally you're stitching, say, two pieces of floss over one x basically on your fabric and those two pieces of floss can either be the same color so that's a solid color or they can be a piece from two different colors to be blended color and i actually started doing old world map 2 with blended colors and realized on the first page that this was going to it would take me multiple lifetimes and i actually started over with just using regular colors or solid colors so you can search by category. You can search by specific artists. Uh, you can also go if you want to. If you want to try a blended color project, or if you want solid colors only, you can do it that way. Again, you can search color count as well. Um, if you want something, I mean, something that has a lower color count is definitely going to go a lot faster than the ones that are the highest color counts. Um, and so the stitch counts, the longest size, there's, you know, they go all the way up to a thousand, a thousand count on any one particular side. So they're massive. Shall we go, shall we go look? Shall we go look at what they are? I think they're going to be a lot of what we just saw on challenge level seven. So let's see if there's anything. Let's look at this um, view de Canderstein. T roll. So 677 by 900. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, 
I could go on and on and on on this site. I really could. I could literally just stop talking and just start looking for a very long time. Let's go and look up some artists here. Let's find somebody super duper famous, like this guy named Michel Angelo. I'm sorry. Michan Michelangelo. Ooh, look at this. The Sistine Chapel ceiling. I did this as a jigsaw puzzle many, many years ago. And now they have it in... Wow. In cross stitch. Wow. Look at that. Look at how vivid that is. So that's 990 by 347. 148 colors. Wow. Wow, guys. Sorry, I'm just sitting here thinking, I've got time for that. No, I don't. No, I don't. So, there's all those at that point. So, let's go back to the front of the store. And you can buy kits. You can also buy printed patterns. Printed patterns, basically, they will send to you. And if you like that, like I said, it's there for you. For sure. And some people have their... Aw. See? See what happens, people? Gosh darn it. I see something that I gotta have. Aw. Aw. Gosh darn it, people. Why am I here? <laughs> I'm going to order this. Oh, anyway, I'm a veterinarian in case you guys didn't know. So this is right up my alley. Wow, wee, that looks amazing. So I don't have a lot to like specifically show you about this site because this is what happens. I see something and I got to get it. So I'm going to have to get this. But oh my goodness, guys, um, just come and look at the site and just tool through it for a long time. It, you literally could spend hours. There are hundreds and hundreds of patterns on this site. And again, I don't, I don't think as much as I love the other sites that I've reviewed, as much as I love all the patterns that I do, I know that my golden kite pattern, Old World Map 2, is the masterpiece that I'm working on. And that is so big that it is my lifetime project. And you don't have to have a lifetime project, but you can choose something that when you get done, everybody will look at it and say, that's cross-stitch? So anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. And uh, stay tuned for another video in this series. Take a look below. I've listed all the other videos in this series as well. Take a look at my blog, stitchingjewels.com. If you've gotten this far and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys really soon.